I grew up in the suburbs of Dallas, uh, right in the height of the WCCW, with the Von Erichs and Freebird era. One uh, afternoon, I'm uh, at the grocery store with my mother. I'm probably, you know, 11, 12 years old at the time. Right in front of us in line is one Scandor Akbar, the manager, the heel manager of Devastation Inc. And I kind of took my, my mom. I said, Mom, you know who that is? It's Scandor Akbar. And apparently he heard that someone noticed him in line and goes right into character, starts berating the cashier, and starts berating the ca- the guy back in the groceries, telling her, the, the, the cashier, that, hey, there's people waiting in line. You've got to go faster. Tell them the, the bagger to put them in there correctly. And the, both of these people working there are just looking befuddled, like, why is this guy going off like this? Scandor had a woman with him, I guess it was his girlfriend at the time. He looks at her and cuts a promo on her about her being so ugly. I see, like, the cashier is maybe looking for a manager at this point. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. Well, luckily they did get his transaction done. He's in still full promo as he's exiting the grocery store, going off on the on the, the gather bag in the grocery that's now taken to his car. Well, a few months later, I happened to go to a friend's birthday party that was kind of close to that grocery store. I rode my bicycle. As I'm going down the street, I pass this house, and right there is Skandor Agbar. He lived probably two miles from that that hill. He stares me down, and I immediately start pedaling on my bicycle as fast as I could to get to the street that I need to because I did not want him shooting any kind of promo on me because I was already terrified of the man for the promo he did at the grocery store. What a time to be alive. What a time to love wrestling. What a time to be in the wrestling industry where you have to go into character at the grocery store when somebody recognizes you. As we speak right now, it's the silliest thing ever, but that was his job, and Bill Watts would have loved him for it. At this point, Fritz Von Erich loved him for it, I guess. He felt he had to do it. He needed to do it. He had to do it, and he did it, and he didn't care if he made every single person feel awful. He wanted to make everybody feel awful. That's what he did. He was a heel on television in those parts, so he kept up the facade. Ridiculous. Purely ridiculous. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. While you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.